it's interesting, uh, again and again in the film we hear, let the past be past. But survivors always say it out of fear, and perpetrators always say it as a threat, which means the past is the past. It's right there empowering the perpetrators to threaten and keeping the survivors afraid. It's an open wound, and I suppose I made this film with the sense that unless until it's acknowledged, there'll be no moving forward, there'll be no healing, there'll be no rebuilding of any social bonds that have been torn for so long as a result of this. Um, and they don't, social bonds don't just get torn, they sort of re, that, that divide starts to ossify and become, and, and, and become and sort of scar over, and turn into something very enduring and very difficult to grasp, which is why, very difficult to heal, which is why it's so important, I think, that we as human beings really strive to practice the widest possible empathy and care for each other. Because we, as human beings, can't somehow, we can't somehow exist without one another. We are, I think, that just, I'm often asked, uh, isn't, do you think this is the, what makes someone do this? Is it individual? Is it societal? Well, it's certainly, I think, it's societal. But I also think the distinction between the individual and the society is a fiction, entirely. In fact, the language here in America, libertarianism has this bizarre popularity only here in America. I guess that's because this is God's greatest country. Um, here in America, we, and, and even with, and the only way we can conceive of this distinction between self and society is through language. And yet, language is the great unconscious collective project that makes us human. So termites build these kind of soaring cathedrals. These with perfectly formed Gothic arches and buttresses, and they're totally unaware that they're doing it. And we're all interdependent in many ways that we don't think of, that, it, that the people in sweatshops who make all of my clothes, and the people in uh, mines and conflict areas in Central Africa who uh, maybe make the electronics in this microphone and in my smartphone. We're all interdependent in ways we don't think of. But actually, the human equivalent to the termite now is language. It's the great collective project that we're making all the time together. And it's only through language, this collective project, that we can start to conceive of ourselves as isolated individuals. So the individual is a kind of myth already produced through this collective, this collective project, this collective formation called language. And in that sense, we must look after the bonds that keep us together with empathy and tenderness. And until we acknowledge the gaping wound that's there, we'll never move on. We'll never heal. Those thoughts will never be rebuilt.